Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm just kind of taking a short look around. Look at Ireland. Will Ireland take all of England or will England take it all? Who will form Great Britain? We're in the middle of fighting against um, a rebellion in our own country as young Emperor Hermes, the nine-year-old, is basically just trying to s solidify his reign. Man, we've lost a lot of guys here somehow. A lot of guys. What the hell happened? All right, let's raise some troops from at home. All right, we raised a thousand. You guys go up to the front. Victory! We are at seventy-two percent war score. Man, we gotta win this thing. This thing's taking forever. Most people have good hearts. A stranger's just a friend you've not met yet. Oh, Hermes has gained the kind trait. Negative two to intrigue, but plus two to diplomacy. Um, higher vessel opinion, same trait opinion. That's good because he's temperate and he's kind and patient. People are going to like him. Which is a good trait to have for a leader. Um, where the hell are all our troops? Yeah, let's get some more guys in there, because you can see they're trying to send um, reinforcements in. Uh, actually, you guys can go home. I don't know if the troops from our capital are going to get up there in time. They're going to try, at the very least. They're losing people as the... Oh, no, they're going to seize our territory. So they're probably having the same problem we do, of people dying of disease and normal war stuff when you're in a siege. My prisoner, Prince Hildegard Dictopolis, is complaining about her dark cell. She can go to the Oubliette then and die. You do not complain about your cell in the middle of a civil war. You learn to accept it. Ooh, this one's gonna fall really soon. My prisoner, Oubliette. He's like, I but I want to Oubliette. That's where you go. Victory! Alright, let us educate a kid? Who is this? Our nephew? It's because a uh, most of um, Hermes' siblings are way older than him. So his nephews tend to be his age or older. <laughs> All right, we are going we took the temple. We're going to take the city here. A new great house has risen in the um, trade republic. Let's look at that again. Not direct vassals. Trade zones. Yes, grow. Trade zones of our trade republic bring us more monies. We are at 74% war score. I like that. These rebels have been a pain in my booty. Now they're busy wasting time taking over territory that really isn't that consequential. We will merge you guys as we're about to take the city here. And then we're going to move to Turov after we take the city. Victory, 78%. And then we'll see if they're ballsy enough to come attack us. If not, we'll just siege, siege there. I don't like my oubliette. But the... That's her getting thrown into the oubliette. <laughs> don't fucking bitch in the middle of a war. Are you going to jail, son? I wonder if it's worth trying to ransom any of these people. Well, we got a lot of people we could ransom. Maybe we should while we can now. It might hurt our war score. But... If we could bring in some money. Alright, there's some money. Because we're going to win this war one way or another. And most of these leaders we're going to replace. So, if we have family members now. Some of their family members that we can ransom. Now's the time to ransom it. Oh, she's complaining, complaining about herself. Oubliette.
Yeah, let's bring in as much money as we can ransoming these bastards. Thank you for the money. We need it for the war effort. Um, where are they going? They're going back into their territory, apparently. We're gonna wait here. If they want to cross the river and fight us, we will be waiting. Uh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how many times this LP I've accidentally done that. So, we were busy earning money by just ransoming people left and right. Is that everybody we can ransom? I guess so. Oh, where is that guy going? Oh, we can arrest somebody, too! Oh, I want to arrest him so bad, but now is not the time. We can't afford to start another war. Man, I want to fight those troops so bad. Oh, we can ransom this, this little girl. Good, good, good. Come across the river where we can attack you. And then end the war. Man, look at all these little girls we have to ransom. That sounds so wrong. Alright, let us cut him off. And then when we have the chance to cut him off, then we'll go right after their army and try to end this war. They're all like, thank you for ransoming my child. Yeah, no problem. I got more. You want one? We got a, we got a prison just full of these kids. Alright, we'll get in there before they escape. These people are just happy to get their kids back. Well, maybe you shouldn't go to war where I can grab your kids. We should be able to win that. We're going to use all this time we can to ransom as many kids as possible. Yeah, come on, crush these guys. Let's end this rebellion, put everybody in war, and then we're going to have to totally reorganize half the country. Yeah, that center is about to fall any moment now. Any more kids want to go on sale? I mean, ransom. On ransom? Selling kids is wrong. Well, your own kids at least. Boom! Victory! Oh, we're only at 91% war score? Are you kidding me? Alright, where are you going? You are going to Lubeck. Luckily, we have some allies there, too, sieging the capital of the rebellion. I guess the only plus to this is it gives us a little more time to ransom kids. Oh, maybe nobody's got any money right now. They've had to spend so much money on ransoming, or paying the ransoms for their own kids. That guy is not going to get out in time. My emperor, I have convinced, or I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Heaves has converted to the Tangri Faith. What is the moral authority of the Tangri Faith? 90.3! It's pretty sweet. All the top hits of the Tangri Faith are 90.3 on your FM dial. You can shorten that with FIM. Your FIM dial. <laughs> Alright, uh... We don't need any more people want a lower crown authority. Studley Sin already let that happen when he was the regent. Victory! We're gonna move the army into Minsk. Actually, gonna split it in half. We're gonna move half of it into Minsk, half of it into Orsha, and just start retaking our land. We're so close! I can't believe we haven't ended this war already. In fact, you know what? They're going to Matislav. We're going to just send an army to meet them. Yeah, that made him think twice. He's like, oh, I don't want to get my butt stomped in. Probably will. From Milan to Minsk. 
When he's older, will Hermes will be yell at his kids? When I was your age, I was selling kids. I mean, rats would mean children back to their parents. What are you doing with your life? Chief Drogson of Berlad has provided me with proof that High Chief Presida of Nietzsche has been viciously slandering me. Um. Yeah, we're going to threaten him that we're going to expose him if he doesn't stay out of factions. That might backfire. I think it did. He just laughed at us, refusing to stop meddling in political affairs. I will remember this, sir. Uh, we could arrest him. We're not going to right now. The rebels offer us a white peace. We will decline. You will lose, and we will take back everything which you try to get from us. We're going to go to Razalav and try and separate these armies so they can't reunite. Well, our allies siege the rebel capital, and we siege Minsk to re try and return it to us. Which we should be able to get back in pretty quick order. Yeah, Alright, go ahead and march north. Go ahead, go to Smolensk. We're going to go there anyway, and then we're going to attack one of you too. You have been fools. And you will pay for your foolishness. Actually, maybe not. We'll just sit and wait. I don't want to lose more troops than we need to because that's going to make it easier for other people to attack. 98% war score. All right, let's take Orsha back. You? I want to arrest him so bad. I'm pleased to report that my mission to Kasnad, the majority of the population have been converted to the Tangry face. Excellent. So this was orthodox since, like, the beginning of the game. And finally, our um, preacher man, the top diviner, has converted them to orthodox. We're going to have him work here on Rashka. So we can try and get it all to be Tangri. So let us find him. And be like, preach the good word of the goose god there. Oh, where do you think you are fleeing to, rebels? There is nowhere to escape. You will die. Oh, nobody else wants to pay ransom for the kids, apparently. Victory! Oh, we are at 99! <laughs> Where is our 100? We are so close. Well, they will not get their white piece. They will all go into the dungeons. Uh-oh, somebody is trying to take the toys of Hermes. Hermes is like, no, they're mine. And Hermes is greedy. Will his uncle teach him not to be greedy? Is actually a decent trait as you make more tax money. Costs you some... Costs you? Costs you some diplomacy. Man, he's horrible at intrigue. He is 10, though. Shouldn't be too hard on the kid. Ooh, soon we will have this. Let that be the last 1% we need. It is 100%. And now, Rebels, we will demand peace. The Second Carpathian Revolt League War is ended. Oh, man. This is going to be such a pain in the butt reorganizing um, society. <laughs> All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to send our troops home. We're going to send what's left of our retinue. They got pretty devastated. Back to the capital. Uh, militarily, yeah, we can build our retinue back up, but we're going to need money, and it's going to take a while. While we're doing that, let's take a look at the Empire, and by that I mean just our personal holdings. All right, Severin, um, our castle there still has a new administration penalty. Nicopolis's, their penalty is gone. What's that? Typhus, that's great. Um, the penalty here is gone for Doriston. Turned out a long time ago. And Sophia, look at that. The um, city of Dictopia, the garrison is full up, and the levee is filling up. That is excellent. Um, so where do we start? Zagreb. You, sir. You were bad. You were a naughty, naughty man. Um, why can't I imprison? He didn't go to prison? 
Wait, why can't we imprison him? He was a rebel. Are you serious? Wait, I thought most of the rebels go to prison. Apparently not all of them do. Wait. He might have an excuse. Does he have a liege? Oh, he does. His liege is... Oh, that dipshit. That would make a lot of sense. Um... Banish. Banished characters might escape with their lives, but they are forced to abdicate their titles and their wealth is confiscated. We're going to banish this guy. Uh, banishing a vassal ruler for no valid reason is seen as tyrannical. Wait, we should have a reason. He was a fucking bastard. Are you serious? I think you should be able to banish anyone that was in the rebellion. Apparently we can't. All right. So we're going to have to go one by one and revoke titles. We can take his duchy, or we can um, take his, his duchy, or we can take his county of Agra. We're going to take his duchy. He can't do anything about it. We are going to give it to... Um, the rest of this episode, I have a feeling, is going to be doing this kind of stuff. So if you don't like it, you know... But if you don't mind, I think this is the interesting part for me. Um, yeah. So, okay, these four territories are part of that. So who else is there? King Fruity Loops of Magyar. Hmm, that's a problem. Or this guy. Well, we don't want to give it to our brother Fruity Loops. No, he's got enough territory. So we're going to make this guy the head of the duchy. We will grant him the landed title, Duchy of Agra. And he likes us a lot now. And that means this guy, who is um, a rebel, he doesn't report to us directly anymore. So I'm not worried about him. We will ransom him for 70 gold. How about Thin Bones? The reason I'm not worried about him is now he's responsible to the High Chief. So if he's got a problem, if he is a problem, the High Chief will deal with him. Um, Alright, who next? We know... Oh, where was the leader of the rebellion? Well, there are a bunch of guys. Here's another high chief who was a rebel. We will revoke your title, Duchy of Kiev. Which will leave you with just uh, Bryansky. I don't... Who is your liege? I think we own that duchy personally. We do. Horse Baby Boy does. And who are you? Alright, this is perfect. This is the rebel leader. We are going to revoke his title. Wait, why can't I revoke it? It needs to be approved by my regent. I've been revoking all these other ones. Why can't I revoke this one? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe that. Regent! Um, we will ransom him too. For 70 gold. I want to revoke his title, but the Regent won't let us. Well, does he like us? No, not really. Why doesn't he like us? Because he's imprisoned? Because he wants the duchy? You know what the worst thing is? The best way for us to solve this might be to release, ransom him, and then give him the duchy. <laughs> Fuck it, we're going to ransom him as well. He's going to get rewarded for that, because I think that's the only way to kind of deal with this, as much as I hate to. All right, we ransomed that one guy. I can't believe our, um... I can't believe our regent, my uncle, won't let us take away his title. All right, he likes us less... He doesn't hate us as much now. So, you know what? We're going to give him the... <laughs> this is silly. He, he led the rebellion, but we're going to grant him the duchy here. 
Um, the Duchy of Bryansk. And he likes that, and I think he's going to want control of Bryansky. Good, because we don't want to deal with this guy. So we're going to transfer control of it to him. <laughs> it's funny what weird bedfellows politics make. <laughs> he's like, honey, I won. I led a war and lost, but in the end I won because I got territory. You did very good, honey. I know. <laughs> Sometimes in life, stupidity is rewarded. <laughs> It is the sad truth about life. All right, um, who else? There's got to be other rebels in here. So we can't take any more of his territory because we took away his thing. And he's actually considering... He's actually should be getting ransomed. What about this guy? Hi, Chief. Roskam, let's revoke his title. So wait, what is the Razian? All right, you like us, and you like us. So either one of them, I might as well give it to. We will revoke your title, Duchy. And we will ransom you. Wait, can I banish you? No, people are still going to be mad about that. We will ransom you, and then I'm going to pick one of these guys at random. This guy really likes us. Yeah. You already like us? We will make you the High Chief of the area. So good. Now, this guy might not like us even when he's ransomed, but not our problem. Because of a level of bureaucracy, he repeats to, uh, reports to High Chief President Bede. 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 <laughs> Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to be doing more bookkeeping like this. Hopefully, we can keep ransoming people, though. I don't know how many more people we have in the prisons. Because the more people we can ransom like that, maybe we can get enough money to build a city like I want. We shall see. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, and I'll see you all, hopefully, next time.